Hey everybody, welcome back to Epic Beauty Veil. Vale. I'm Jessica on today's video. We're gonna be doing another unboxing video and today it's gonna be my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So this box actually kind of got lost. <laughs> I was supposed to get it a couple of days ago and it didn't arrive and then it was transferred from FedEx to UPS or I'm sorry, USPS, and then it kind of got stuck, and then it was at FedEx again, and then it was at USPS, and then it finally showed up at my door at like 7.30 at night. So, I don't know where this box has been, but it's here. So I'm happy about that. Before I go ahead and get into it, if you were not aware, I do have my own online clothing boutique. It is nimnies.com. Link is in the description bar down below if you're curious. If not, that's okay too. And if you have any comments while you're watching, leave those down below. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And if you are not yet subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. It helps me out quite a lot. All right, let's go ahead and get into my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for May 2020. I did already take a peek. I have some makeup on. There is some more makeup in this box, which I'm going to be putting on with you today, but I do have some makeup on. So let's go ahead and open this up. That is what it looks like when you first get into it. There is a card. Unfortunately, for some reason, Ipsy decided that they're not going to print cards anymore um, that have the products on it. Um, I don't know if that's because they have so many variations that it was just getting too costly to do that. I don't know. Whatever. So this card is pretty much worthless. Um, if Ipsy uh, just would rather not print cards, that would be just fine with me because if you're not going to put the products on it, it doesn't. I mean, I don't even read it. Anyway, let's go ahead and pull out the little bag. This is the bag for this month. It's really cute. It's blue and yellow. I like the blue a lot. Blue is my favorite color. So it does have a little tassel on the bag. That's cute. And then on the inside it is yellow. So that's cute. That is a cute little bag. I do have my Glam Bag Ultimate, the little ultimate bag here as well. That's what that one looks like. That is the plus. Um, I do actually have my original bag, which I'm filming right after this. Um, so I haven't really gotten through it yet, but that's what that bag looks like in case you're wondering. So stay tuned until Thursday to see what's in my Ipsy original bag. All right, let's go ahead into the products. There are five products in here. Actually, four of them are makeup, which is really cool because I am not loving my Ipsy Ultimate bag. If you saw that unboxing yesterday, I'm not loving my Ipsy Ultimate because of the fact that there's there just really wasn't a lot of makeup in it. And I prefer makeup in my bags, but um, I really do not mind having a good mix of the two. Sorry, my mascara is sticking together and it's annoying me. Um, but when it's really heavily like skincare, which my ultimate was, it just disappoints me because I get a lot of skin hair. Um, again, I don't know if it's because they're like, oh, you're old, here's skincare. <laughs> I don't know because I know for a fact that I have been, uh, I have done, redone my quiz a couple of times and let them know that I prefer for her makeup. But let's go ahead and pull the one item out that is not skincare. This is the Mud Masky After Mask Vitamin Serum. So let's go ahead. I have the website. The Ipsy website is open right below the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you what it is that this says about this product. That is what it looks like right there. All right, so it's the Mud Masky After Mask Vitamin Serum. Why? You'll love it. No skincare routine is complete without a serum, especially one that's infused with natural vitamins and minerals like this. Uh, something that I can't pronounce, which is a type of seaweed, helps quench your skin's thirst and balance its pH for a soft, dewy glow. Algoronic acid, a byproduct of sea algae, boosts skin cell reproduction, a process that's essential for healthy, youthful skin. Free radical damage from UV exposure and pollution is inevitable. But don't worry, that's where the repairing antioxidants in this serum come in. They minimize the effects of environmental damage to help keep your skin free of dark spots and lines. So this is, it looks like this might be the full size. And the full size, this is the full size, is $52.88. That's expensive. That's expensive. All right, let's go ahead in. I'm going to pull out the next product in my beauty routine, which is this one right here. This is from Girlactic. It's the Skin Glow Duo. I think, I think, this is a cream and I'm actually trying to get more into cream products and I actually have a cream bronzer and blush on today 
but that's what this looks like. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a highlighter. Um, it's got a pink and then like a golden color. I'm a little worried the golden color might be a little bit dark for me, but let's go ahead and see what the website says about this product. Um, this smells like roses. I'm pretty sure it's this. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this before I put it on. The pink, I'm not getting a whole lot up. Oh, I think that'll work just fine. And I don't even know that the golden will show up on camera, but I think that'll work just fine. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my face. So this is the Galactic Skin Glow Duo in Moonlight. Uh, why you'll love it, get your glow on all summer long with this velvety highlighter duo. The pearly pink and vanilla shades can be worn alone or layered together to give your skin an ethereal lit from within look. Ethereal, ethereal, I don't know. Uh, these creamy highlighters are totally foolproof. Use your fingers to sweep them onto skin. They won't streak, cake, or settle into fine lines. The full size, which I think this is it, eight grams. Yes, this is full size is $26. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put the, they call it vanilla shade on my face. I'm going to just use my finger to blend that in. I did use a brush to blend in my blush and bronzer, but I'm going to use my finger to blend this one in. See, this is not showing up a whole lot on my skin. The blush and bronzer that I used um, are both shimmery and I feel like I'm getting more shimmer from my blush than from my highlighter. Now some of that might be my found the foundation that I have on was probably not the best choice. It is definitely not uh, transfer proof. <laughs> so there's that. Um, I don't know if I like that. Can you guys even see it? Maybe it's the lighting in here that I can't see it, but I mean, I can kind of see it. It looks more like a sheen on my face rather than a highlight, which is fine. Like I said, I'm trying to get more into cream products. Uh, I'm thinking that maybe they are better for my skin as I'm getting older. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about makeup. All right, let's get back into the box and get the next product that I would put on my face, which is this right here. This is the Wander Beauty. This is the eye gel, or not eye gel. Frame Your Face Precise Brow Gel in Clear. So I did use a pencil in my brows, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this as well. Ooh, look at that little spoolie. <laughs> Can you guys see that? That is so teeny tiny and it's so cute. It's so cute. All right, let's go ahead and put it in and I'm gonna read it to you. Uh, that'll give it a second to dry to see if it gets crunchy or not. Honestly, I don't usually use a whole lot of brow gels, but they're a nice thing to have around and uh, that spoolie is cute, even though I just got it covered. Oh, no, I just got it covered in brow pencil. Well, doesn't that just stink? Oh, well. Okay. This is the Wonder Beauty Frame Your Face Precise Brow Gel in Clear. Why you'll love it. Grooming your brows can be complicated, and who has time for that? Lucky for you, this clear gel makes it so easy. A few swipes tame strays and give your brow hairs soft, flexible hold that lasts all day. And unlike other brow gels we've tried, this non-crunchy formula never feels stiff or sticky. The cone-like brush has a tapered tip that's perfectly sized to comb through teeny brow hairs without making a mess. It's infused with hinoki, hinoki, I don't know how to pronounce that, Hinoki, essential oils to moisturize and nourish your brow hairs so they can grow thicker and stronger with continued use. I don't need any thicker brows. <laughs> use it alone for a polished brow vibe or with your favorite brow pencil or pomade for a bolder brow look. MSRP on this is $22 and that is full size. All right, the next item in here is a little eyeshadow palette from Colored Rain. This is the item that I chose. This is the Mimosa Moment eyeshadow palette. And I am gonna do an eye look with this, but I'm gonna pull the last item out first, just in case you're not interested in the try-on of this product. The other ones I tried on just because they were really easy to you know, do in a couple of seconds. So, all right, so this is gonna be a nice uh, 
palette for me to just use like on a day in and day out basis. I did do an add-on to my Ipsy Ultimate. It was another colored rain palette. Let me grab it, it's right here. This is the Vineyard Soiree. In case you didn't see my Ipsy Ultimate unboxing, I did purchase this other one as an add-on. That one is just pretty purples. So anyway, I am gonna be doing an eye look with this, just something very simple, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the last item before I do that. And I am gonna try this one on. This is the Tardist Lip Paint in Home Slice. I do have some lip balm on, so I'm gonna have to wipe that off. Oh, this is a pretty shade. All right. Hopefully this isn't too drying. I've tried some tart lipsticks before and sometimes they're very dry. Oh, I like the shade though. Okay. I overshot my lip accidentally, but that's okay. But that's what the shade looks like. It's very peachy and it's getting very, very dry. So hopefully it doesn't dry down too far. All right, so my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for this month includes the serum, which was, oh, I didn't, I didn't read to you the descriptions of the lipstick and the eyeshadow. Goodness gracious, Jessica. It's like you just started this whole thing. Okay, let's do the lipstick first and then we'll read the eyeshadow. So this is the Tardist Quick Dry Matte Lip Paint in Home Slice. Uh, why you love it? Matte liquid lipsticks are amazing. They're pigmented, don't budge, and last for ages. The dryness that often accompanies them, not so amazing. This lipstick has the best of both worlds. I don't know, it's kind of dry. <laughs> it provides full coverage payoff that is so white, weightless, you'll, I wanted to say lightweight, weightless, you'll forget you're wearing any lipstick. The peachy nude shade flatters all skin tones and is the perfect spring to summer transitional. These guys dry fast, like really, really fast, meaning transferring, bleeding, and mirror checks will be a thing of the past. And this is a full size at $20. All right. And then the eyeshadow palette. Let's see what the website says about this. This is so annoying. I'm sorry, Ipsy. <sighs> Not getting the cards. Not loving that. So this is the Mimosa Moment palette. Why you'll love it. Here at Ipsy HQ, we're living for this limited edition and Glam Bag Plus exclusive palette with rustic earth toned eyeshadows. The four matte and two shimmer shades can be used to create an endless array of looks from a soft, subtle wash of color to big, beautiful, smoky eyes. This palette was practically made for getting glam on the go. It's totally portable and has a functional built-in mirror. The This is a full size and it is $22. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do an eye look. Before I do that, let's recap what I got in my Glam Bag Plus. I got the serum, the eyebrow gel, the Tardis lip paint, the uh, cream highlighter, and then the eyeshadow palette. Honestly, I really, really enjoy Ipsy Plus. I really enjoy my Ipsy Original. However, I haven't opened my Ipsy Original yet for this month. I'm gonna be doing that in just a moment. So you'll be seeing my face again looking just like this on in Thursday's video but um Ipsy Ultimate has been kind of a letdown I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie Ipsy Ultimate has been kind of a letdown so anyway while I go into doing my eye look if you are not sticking around for the entirety of this try on thank you for watching i do appreciate it if you would like to hit that thumbs up down below if you haven't already hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. And comments are always appreciated in the comment section. I'm being salesperson-y, aren't I? I am not in sales. I would fail miserably in sales. Anyone who's in sales, oh, bless you. Because I am such an introvert. It's not even funny. Like I would not last a day in sales. And what's funny is I come from salespeople. Like my dad is a salesman. My uncle is a salesman. My grandfather was a salesman. Like, yeah. My older son is going to school. Well, he's already finished two years of school. He has an associate's degree. Well, as of next week, he'll have an associate's degree in business administration. Um, and he's going to a four-year school this fall um, here in Pennsylvania, a state school 
to get his bachelor's degree in, he's actually looking to double major. Right now he's, he only is single major, but he's looking to add a second major. And he's uh, cur currently identified as a marketing major. That's why I brought that up. I was getting there, just taking me a little bit of time. <laughs> he was, oh, I'm sorry. I used the cream all over the lid and then this orangey shade in the crease. Um, you know what? I'm gonna put that orangey shade all over the lid and then I'm gonna go into the light brown. I'm gonna use every shade in this palette today. I'm gonna go into light brown and deepen up my crease a little bit. Um, so he's going to be majoring in marketing. And I, I got down this tangent because I was saying about, you know, my dad, my uncle, and actually my husband's uh, uncle was in sales as well. So he gets it, honestly. My son does. Um, he currently works in a uh, pharmacy. Um, I think I've said it before on this channel. He works at Rite Aid as like a cashier and a shift manager, a shift supervisor. Um, and he already is kind of getting the hang of like selling people on things. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't like force people to buy stuff, but he's working up front and he's like, oh, you're buying this. Would you be interested in that? Light brown. Um, so yeah. Um, but he's, he's interested in marketing and like I said, he's interested in, uh, sports management. Did I tell you what the second major was? Sports management is what he's looking at. Um, they're both in the business school at the university he's looking at. And he was thinking that they would be a good complement to each other. Um, and the sports management program does a lot in the way of like making sure like you have to have an internship for that program. So they always, they, they, the school works with you to find an internship program where you actually work with a professional sporting team, whether that be like um, minor leagues, that's that's baseball. But you know what I mean, like um, minor leagues in baseball or professional baseball, or um, I am in Pennsylvania and they work with like all sports. They work, we don't, do we have, yeah, we do have baseball. They work with football. We've got the Philadelphia Eagles. We've got the Baltimore Ravens down in, you know, Maryland. We've got the New York Jets and the New York Giants. And then we also have the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, and then we have several colleges too. So there's college programs. And then we also have like hockey. We've got some some major major hockey um, in both Fitz Pittsburgh and Philly. And then we also have like the Hershey area has the Hershey Bears. So, and then we have minor league baseball um, as well as major league baseball. And we even have some soccer as well. Not professional like Super USA soccer or whatever, but they, we've got like the minor league soccer. Um, in Pennsylvania. I don't think, I don't believe that there's a major league soccer in Pennsylvania. You know, I like that just like that. I could stop right there, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go into the pinky toned shade and I'm going to put that all over the lid. It's actually bronze on my finger. Actually, I'm going to just put it on the outer, outer half of the lid and then on the inner portion. Actually, I have so much on my finger. I can go onto the other, other eye. Um, on the inner third of the lid, I'm going to put the other shimmer. That's pretty. That is a very pretty shade. I like bronzes. Uh, definitely pigmented more when you first put it on than when you try to use the same finger to blend on the other eye. Let's just get a little bit more. So he's going to college, assuming college opens. It's only May, so keep your fingers crossed. All right, I'm gonna go into the lighter shade and I'm gonna put that on the inner portion of the eye and blend it out. Whoa, that is super pigmented. It actually like overtook the bronzy shade. That was not expected. I think that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. That is very pretty. Okay. Last but not least, we're going to go into the last shade of the palette, the dark brown. And I'm going to put that just in my outer corner and then I'm going to bring it down along my lash line. If you all watch any of my videos, you know that this is pretty, a pretty much standard eye look for me. Um, 
I'm not doing anything, you know, crazy exciting or new. But that means that this palette is perfect for me because this is definitely an eye look that if I was going to wear makeup every single day, I could do that. I could do this eye look every single day. So I'm going to be honest. I know this has turned into a chat to get ready with me, hasn't it? Oh, anyway, I'm going to be honest. Who else struggles with foundation on their skin? Anybody? Is it just me? Um, I would love to do my eyes every single day. Like do eye makeup every single day. If I had the time, which I don't normally have the time. Uh, I'm going to the dark brown on my under eye. Um, if I just like, you know, I don't know, won the lottery or something and I didn't have to go like to work anymore, um, I would, you know, take the time to do like eye makeup every day, but mask or not mascara. I love mascara too, but the, uh, foundation, except that my cheeks are really red. I mean, if you re rewind to the beginning of this uh, video, I have rosacea. Not diagnosed, but I'm pretty sure I had rosacea on the um, my nose and my cheek area on either side of my nose. All right, I think that's it. And I think that it turned out amazingly. Um, this is, I, the reason I picked this eyeshadow palette is because I knew that I would get a lot of use out of it. And the quality is amazing. Um, I haven't tried out a lot of Colored Rain products and this is amazing. So I'm definitely gonna be looking forward to getting into the Vineyard Soiree one as well. Um, but this is like an easy everyday look for me. Like I said, if I, win the lottery and retire early or something. I don't know. I could easily see myself doing this every single day, just like this. That's it. I used every single palette in my mimosa moment. I used every product with the exception of the serum. Um, the lipstick was feeling dry to begin with, but now that it's kind of set, it's not as bad. But anyway, that's it for my Glam Bag Plus video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do all the things. Otherwise, I will see you on the next Epic Beauty Fail. Bye, guys.